this is our latest Android projector and yet is most powerful in terms of brightness that so far to my knowledge there is no LED projector is able to match this price at this brightness this is actually from Omni Audio Omni Audio D5000 series right look at it it comes with very good powerful speaker as well which I will test it for you later on it's a 10 watt speaker ventilation fan and it used silent fan and the back of this projector it comes with a VGA port starting from the left and then over here they have actually two USB port and do HDMI port as well. This projector actually comes with 5.7 LCD, all right, LCD panel. And at the same time, it comes with 120 watt of LED lamp, which means to say it's simply, simply bright. Without further ado, let's do and move on to the demonstration now. Same thing on today's demonstration on this particular projector, which is Omni Audio D5000 series, which is our most powerful brightness of projector with 9000 lumens. Right? In terms of NC, we are looking at about 600 NC. It's really, really bright. And it comes with 120 watt of projector LED bulb which means to say, and it speaks its power. However, right, because of the powerful, that, that this projector is very powerful, it can go even much wider screen, much wider than even 120, 150, 180, or even 200 inch. However, the true distance is actually much further away. So it's well suited for those who has a hall or a conference room whereby it's actually having a rectangular shape that is actually more than three meters apart. Now, for this particular video, our projector is about three meters away from the screen. So what happened is that it is projecting at like, like about 100 inch screen as of now, all right, versus our other projector, which is on the D100 series and P100 series, is actually based on 2.5 and 3 meter we are achieving like about 120 inch screen size now so this is when the projector is boot up so what happened is that from here i'm able to actually access a few things again same same thing on a similar fashion as other of our projected videos we are going to do a usage based on business use all right which will go through the words based on the browser as a way of presentation, that's one. Two, we'll go by an entertainment which is playing a movie. Three, is actually by singing a song on a karaoke. However, do note that this particular projector, right, by itself comes with a 10 watt speaker, which is actually pretty good and sizable and powerful. And again, this projector actually comes with three different models the first model is the basic model the second model is actually the mirror model the third model is actually what we call the android version this particular version that we are demonstrating right now is on android version so this is the interface so without further ado let's take a look based on the browser I'm just assessing Yahoo right now, right? So from here, I'm able to actually see, and then I can just keep scrolling down, right? Look at the words. It's actually well suited for business as well, all right? Okay, so that's it for business usage. Now we're going to do YouTube. So it's launching YouTube. Now, once YouTube is launched, what we are going to do is that we are going to 
search based on a 4K video. Now, bear in mind, this is actually an Android system, so it's actually playing within the system on its own, all right? So let's play on this. Um, the, by the way, the Bluetooth is actually connected over to our amplifier system, which is based on our Omni Audio 700 watt audio system, audio amplifier together with 1,500 watt speaker. All right, Let, without further ado, let's play this 4K HDR 60 frame per second video. The video is playing right now. I'm going to increase the volume. It's playing very, very smoothly. Alpha six, we are moving. Four alpha, repeat four alpha. Windows eight teams on all sides. Copy that. Now the lights is turned on now. You notice the brightness. You're still able to see in brightness in with lights on. Turn off the light again. Look at it. It's extremely cinematic. Now if you are able to actually have a hole rectangular in size, you can actually throw in a much bigger screen of 180, 200 inch screen if your wall is as big. Speed. 238 kilometers per hour and holding steady. You all right over there? I do love Captain Mason the bad guys. Wait, wait. Civilian in play repeat civilian in play. For those of you who have Netflix account, the Netflix app is actually being built in. You can actually play your Netflix from here. So you just click on the icon, go in, and then you just enter your username and password. All right, so this is actually on Netflix. If you do have an account to log in, right? You have Amazon Prime Video as well. YouTube, like what I've just played, um, you can install any third-party apps within this um, Android player, Android system, projector, and App Store is basically Google App Store. You can go in, log in with your Google account, then you'll be able to play from there. Um, file Manager. Now, what I would do right now is that I'll load the LG file, which is actually, again, the original raw file that's actually playing directly from projector. So I go into File Manager, go into my USB hard drive, right? 4K demo files, 60 frames per second, right? LG. That was actually playing from the USB drive, which means to say the USB drive 
is actually um, the port, the USB port, is of fast speed. That can support even 60 frames per second. Very, very good quality projector. Now, many a times, a frequently asked question is, what is keystone correction? Can I really do keystone correction if I do not have space to put the projector right in the middle of the screen? The answer is not to worry. Why? With keystone correction projector, especially the Android version, you'll be able to actually place the projector right at the corner of your hall, your room or whatsoever. Then from there on, you tune the screen to become a squarish size and shape. So let me just demonstrate to you by shifting the projector right to the corner of this room. Look, instead of the projector which is in the middle of the room, now the projector is shifted right to the corner of the room, right? And then from here, it goes all the way to the screen and you can see that the screen is actually being slanted in size, right? Off the light. Okay, so the lights is off. So right now the screen is actually slanted. So how are we going to adjust in here? I will show you based on the keystone correction. Now from here, what we do is that we go to setup. Okay, projector, projector settings. We move to the keystone correction. No, we don't reset it. We go keystone correction. Now, you see, you're able to actually adjust the four corners that match the screen size. So right here, which is starting from the top left, this is what I'm doing right now. Okay, I'm bringing down the size and then I move to the other side, adjust a little. Yep, I have a pretty square size. Let me just move the camera right to the middle of the entire room. Okay, I shifted the camera right in the middle. Okay, then, um, yeah, it's pre pretty straight right now. I can bring this down a little higher and so on. You can always adjust and then play around. But just to prove the concept that even you put the projector right at the corner of the room, you'll still be able to actually portray a very nice straight screen that is actually on screen. Okay, you can move on to the network settings. So from network, you'll be able to actually um, set your Wi-Fi. Okay, Bluetooth settings. From here, you'll be able to set your Bluetooth. Now it's actually being connected to our this one, which is the 700 watt amplifier. Okay, application management, um, which is actually on your app. You can actually install your app from here. Nothing much in terms of settings from here. I want to show you the sound quality that is actually directly from the projector. So now I have to actually turn off the Bluetooth. The sound is actually coming from a speaker of the projector right now. Sound is coming from the projector. Of course, the projector sound is not equivalent to our amplifier sound, right? Because ours is 700 watt, while that is only 10 watt. We have to be fair, right? Now we move on to the car, okay? And we're going to show you how easy and how wonderful it will be with a projector as a home entertainment for you, your friends, and your family. Why is that so? Look at the words. Even you are short-sighted, you'll still be able to see the words meters away. All right, and just sing along. By the way, if you do like our video, give us a like, thumbs up, go to on the subscription button, turn on the notification bell, hit the subscription button, and you'll be updated with our subsequent videos.
这些年，一个人风越过雨越重，有过泪，有过错，还记得坚持什么？真爱过，才会懂，会寂寞，会回首，就有梦，就有你在心中。朋友一生一起走，那些日子不再有。一句话，一辈子，一生情，一杯酒。朋友不曾孤单过，一生朋友你会懂。还有伤，还有痛，还要走，还有我。Enjoy. Your karaoke session, your entertainment with our Omni Audio Projector, home entertainment system, and the songs now is actually playing from our in and on 19-inch jukebox. Right, with all this, thanks for watching. Again, look out for our subsequent videos upcoming.